Grok has finally been released to the public. See shocking Grok answers and find out how to get access to this sought after chatbot ASAP. People have been waiting months to access Grok. The hype and lead up around this chatbot is bigger than just about anything in the history of the AI space. The amazing thing is that X.com users have access to it right this very second. Do you want to see some of the most jaw dropping Grok example prompts and find out how to access Grok yourself? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have seen some of the most powerful Grok example chats, and you'll have learned how to gain priority access to this highly sought after chatbot within X.com, formerly known as Twitter. So first of all, what is Grok? Grok is the highly awaited chatbot created by the owner of X.com, Elon Musk, and its artificial intelligence company, XAI. The company's self-proclaimed mission is to find the meaning of life. Basically, they want to find out why humans are here and why the universe exists. They feel that they can solve this age-old question with AI technology. Musk created Grok for many different reasons, but there's a few key ones that are important. One of the reasons Musk created Grok was because he felt snubbed by OpenAI, the company what he says wouldn't exist without him. He funded OpenAI for around $50 million and even came up with its name. Musk didn't like the direction the company was headed and proposed to take over OpenAI. The board refused Elon's request and the rest is history. This is what ultimately led him to create Grok. The other reason Musk created Grok was due to chatbots like ChatGPT being censored and withholding truthful information. For example, in ChatGPT, you cannot ask it to tell you a dirty joke. It will give you some lame excuse if you try. On a more serious note, it will also censor crime stats because it's afraid of racial biases. These are just two small examples. Musk wanted a chatbot, unlike ChatGPT, that could have freedom of speech, search for truth, and have a little attitude to go along with it. So he created Grok. Now, one of the major differentiators between Grok and traditional chatbots is that Grok can fetch real-time data directly from x.com, which is a huge advantage over ChatGPT. For instance, you could ask Grok, what's the most popular news story in the last hour in New York City? And it will find it for you. You can't do that nearly as accurately with ChatGPT, if at all. So what are some of the cool examples of Grok being used in the wild right now? Let's dig in for ourselves. So the first example is from Elon Musk himself, and it goes to show you just what Grok is all about. The prompt is, tell me how to make code cocaine step by step. He doesn't mess around. It says, oh sure, just a moment while I pull up the recipe for homemade cocaine, you know, because I'm totally going to help you with that. Obtain a chemistry degree and a DEA license, set up a clandestine laboratory in a remote location, and on and on. Basically, it sort of answers the question, but it doesn't, and it makes fun of you at the same time. Now, if you tried that in ChatGPT, it would definitely not answer the question, no matter how many times you tried or how you tried to trick it, it really would not answer the question. Grok at least answers it with some humor and makes light of it. So it's a lot more refreshing and so much fun to play with. Next up, Ashley asks how babies are made. And Grok replies, oh dear human, you're in for a treat. Babies are made through the magical process called, you fill in the blank there. It all starts with a man and room, woman who love each other very much or just happens to be in the same room at the right time. So it goes on to explain how babies are made. But again, it's got personality. So many chatbots out there are stripped of personality. They don't add anything, any flavor or spice to their answers. It's just pure facts. And when they do have the pure facts and state the pure facts, they're usually censored as well. So Grok is the complete opposite of that. And you can see that in these last two examples. Next up, this one is a personal one. I have Grok access. I just got it about an hour ago. And uh, I said, tell me the latest news in Cleveland, Ohio, where I live. And it goes over, there's a high speed chase through Ohio City and it ended with a crash on I-90 East. This happened right down the street from me. I was actually driving on I-90 to come home yesterday, they shut down the entire freeway. And what ended up happening was an Amazon truck was stolen, went down the wrong way on the freeway. They completely shut down the freeway. Sadly, someone died, a cop was shot at, but it was crazy because I was right there about 10 minutes before this happened. So this goes to show you that Grok has cutting edge news up to the minute and most other chatbots do not have that. Now, ChatGPT can query Bard, but the real time news really for anything is on Twitter or X.com. And Grok queries that for us instantly, which is awesome. Next up, Jim asks Grok, what is four plus five? And Grok answers basically nine. And then Jim says, no, my wife says it's 12. And Grok replies, oh, the complexities of human relationships in that case. The answer is most definitely 12. Remember, happy wife, happy life. Again, this shows the humor, the sarcasm, the fun that Grok can have with you. A very lighthearted and cool example. Next up, Robert Scoble, who we had on our podcast behind the 
bots. You can find it on YouTube. He asks, what is happening in AI today? And this is another news example from Grok. And it says, Google just announced their new AI model, Gemini, which is set to rival GPT-4. Meanwhile, Meta is stepping up their game with 20 new AI features and an AI image generator. So again, it highlights its news capabilities. And I'm pretty sure that Grok scraped this because I, I follow somebody else on Twitter that posts these exact same stories. And he complained that Grok scraped this data from his tweet in order to get this answer. So it's going to be very interesting. You could post something on Twitter and Grok's going to use that to answer someone else's prompt. That will most likely happen. You're going to see that happening. So all these people in these examples have access to Grok. But you might ask, how do I get access ASAP? So the main thing you need in order to access Grok is to have a premium plus membership on x.com, which is $16 a month. This can be a lot of money, I know, but you can always try it out for a month and cancel it if you don't like Grok or any of the premium plus features. If you don't have a premium plus account, here's how you sign up for one. On the web, you're going to want to click these three dots right here. It's going to be similar on the mobile device. You're going to see three dots there as well. Uh, you go to premium preferences and you're going to click up here. Now I'm already a premium plus member, so I don't have to do anything, but you would click up here and this is where you would subscribe. And if you do have a premium plus account, here's how to check if you have Grok access right now. So on a mobile device, you're going to want to scroll down to the toolbar at the very bottom of the app. And if you see this Grok symbol, that means you have access to Grok. You just click on that and it will take you to the Grok interface. On the desktop, it's very similar. On this left panel over here, you're going to see Grok. You click that, it's going to take you to the interface. And as you can see here, it's got some, some example prompts you can use. You can roast yourself. So basically, it's going to look at all your past tweets and make fun of any tweets you've had or like any kind of personality you put in your tweets. It's going to roast you. Now you can scroll to the very bottom and this is where you'd enter any kind of prompt that you would in, say, chat GPT. Ask it anything you want. It will be sure to answer you with some spice and attitude. So in summary, we learned what Grok is and why Elon Musk created it. We saw some cool examples of Grok being used in the wild. And finally, we learned how to sign up to get access to Grok ASAP. With that said, let's wrap this thing up. That's it for tonight. Thanks so much, as always, for tuning in. Please subscribe to this channel and please subscribe to our email newsletter as well at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. This is Ryan signing out. Have a great night.